we know that Nick can strike from distance, but we haven't really seen any of the other midfielders, you know, take a, a real quality strike, at least in the home games I haven't seen from distance. Would you say that, you know, the midfielders are maybe having a little bit dif a difficulty with their shots right now? I think you've got to create the opportunities first. Mm -hmm. um, I think we have the technical ability in the squad, and uh, we have some gifted individuals, and uh, today our uh, practice was pretty good. What kind of a loss is JV for Wednesday's night game, given that he's one of the, the biggest vocal leaders from his position at goalkeeper? You know, he's an outstanding goalkeeper. Right? I believe he's one of the best uh, goalkeepers in the Big East, and certainly in this part of the country. Um, so absolutely, any time you lose a player of that stature, um, uh, it's going to, uh, you know, you're going to miss that. Mm -hmm. However, it is one position where I do believe we have a lot of, a lot of depth mm -hmm. and uh, you know, Johns is a player with collegiate experience and, and we have a lot of faith in him and uh, you know, he, we feel that he's uh, the goalkeeper of the future for our program. So this is a, a fantastic opportunity for him to, uh, uh, to get a little bit more uh, game time out there. Aside from the fact that he has the experience with all of last year, what do you think is one of Ryan's strengths as a keeper? Oh, he's an excellent shot stopper. Okay. Um, he's an athletic goalkeeper um, and he can pull off uh, you know, that special save. He'll be ready. It's, you know, it's, we're not worried at, at all. He's uh, fully uh, prepared to uh, to lead our back four uh, come Wednesday night. Do you expect anyone else maybe to step up in terms of that vocal leadership role? Because Ryan said to me that he wants to be that vocal leader, but he's also not necessarily as loud of a kid as JV is. Yeah, he don't have to be. Uh, you know, we're looking for him to communicate, mm -hmm. and he can do that. And uh, you know, he's done it. Uh, you know, we're not putting in a. Uh, uh, a guy who hasn't had success at this level, um, so I'm you know, very confident the, the rest of the team has a lot of confidence in him uh, because they've watched him um, you know, day out, uh, day in, day out in practice and uh, uh, when he played against Northeastern, I, I think he was uh, very good. It's not a Big East game Wednesday night, but it's your last non-conference game. Uh, is this a must-win game or is there something specific that you're trying to target maybe and get ready for Saturday and the rest of the Big East play? You like those... Uh, those results-oriented games. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a home game, mm -hmm. and we go into every home game uh, looking to uh, to win those games. Mm -hmm. uh, it's against a, a quality side. Uh, they've got a good program uh, with some very good players. They're an exciting team going forward. They uh, um, have an outstanding season, and, and they're very well coached. So uh, we know we've got hands full. I think it's going to be a, a, a cracking uh, soccer match. The team is really, really struggling to, like you said, get the ball over that white line. Is there any one thing that you can point to, maybe, that, that's specifically providing you guys trouble at this point? Well, I think our opponents sometimes have some, uh, something to do with that. Uh, we're playing some good teams. Mm -hmm. um, it's uh, just a, the, the service, I think, can be a little bit better. Okay. And, and getting numbers forward at the right times and uh, uh, having players to hold the ball and let the rest of our team come up and join, join the attack. Uh, you know, against Kanisha, so we had a lot of shots. Uh, just got to now start putting those away. The Big East is arguably one of the top, if not the top, soccer conferences in the country this season. How important do you think it is to face a quality opponent in your last non-conference game going into Big East schedule, where you're going to be facing quality opponents just about every match? Yeah, I, I think our season has been been that. We've played some good teams, mm -hmm. and uh, I feel that we're, you know, we're certainly learning still about our team, but we're, we're pretty battle tested, and, uh, and now, you know. The, the job of the coaching staff and, and the guys is to now start turning and uh, turning those close affairs into some uh, some wins for us.